from what I gathered from the video, I think they were already chasing him. And then they, you know, he was kind of getting away, tossed the gun, and then they caught back up with him. When they caught back up with him, one of the officers fired and um, fired two shots, I believe. They both hit him in the chest. He ended up passing away. I don't know if he died on the scene or died at the hospital. Um, but that's not even my main point of, I'm just giving y'all background of it, but that's not my main point of me bringing it up. Um, but I will say the gun was really far away from his body. And I also will say that the officer that shot still needs to be getting in trouble at, at, no matter what the case was, because by the way of the video, he was kind of, he was chasing them and then kind of like cut him off in the front and turned around and shot him two times. I feel like that was super reckless because he could have, it was apartment right there. The bullets could have went straight through the window. He could have hit the other officer that was right behind the guy. Like, he mm -hmm. didn't really sit and think of how, you know, how the, um, you know, the, the shot was, was shot. You know, mm -hmm. I feel like he, he, just, he just did it. So um, I definitely feel like, like that was wrong. But my point was, my point in saying that, the next day, his friends had posted like a memorial video of him on YouTube. And in the video, they were, um, it was like a bunch of different videos. You know how you do Insta stories and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it was a bunch of those and they were of him with a lot of different guns at a lot of different times and, you know, stuff like that, right? And my thing is, if something like that happened to me, please don't post, don't give the media a reason to be like, he deserved that or something. Y'all already mm -hmm. know they drag us through the mud for anything. Anything, might, something might not be our fault and we still get dragged through the mud. Right. So I'm like, all they did was hand it, everybody, you know, handed it everything on a silver platter to these folks. Mm -hmm. No, make them work for it. Make you go, go find my dirt. I'm not about to give it to you. So now a lot of people are like, well, I don't know if, how much sympathy I have for him now. Regardless, I if, have sympathy for him because he was a young man. He still had right. his life ahead of him. And even if he did have a gun, at the time he got shot, he did not have that gun. Exactly. The gun was and, like, the gun had to be at least 50 feet away. And the, the thing is, if they were chasing him before day before he got shot and he threw the gun where's the video of them chasing before that when he threw the gun because how did they know from the video that i seen he was when they pulled up he was already far from them when they say he threw yeah. the gun there it they, wouldn't have reached was, that far they from was already, was. they was already chasing him you know how like in the beginning of the, minute, uh, of the video when it was muted and stuff mm -hmm. they was already chasing him they was already talking about in my opinion what they were going to do and that's why it was muted and that's why they unmuted it as soon mm -hmm. as he got out of the car but uh, they was you know first of all and this is this is not nothing good but you know dc niggas or city niggas in general we get away from the fucking cops we run from them like we running from fucking dogs we be hopping mm -hmm. gates we be flipping over cars we do a flip over their fucking head oh that believe me that baby was getting away mm -hmm. that's why that gun was so far because he had already tossed it and he was running back and forth while he was playing fucking games with them officers and they was mad as shit you know officers mad as shit when they got chased right. so they was already